take any regular database and add vector search capabilities to it and you'll make it 100 times more powerful. Vector search is insane and here is a simple way to think about it. Every database supports full text search. So if you type a query, the database will return documents, it will return text that contains that query. Imagine that our database stores articles about cars. These are actually sentences, but you get the idea, it's the same thing. With a full text search, we can search for the word car and have the database return every single document that contains that word. In this case, we will get these two sentences because none of the other ones contains the word car. Every sentence here talks one way or another about cars, but full text search is not powerful enough to realize that. I'm sure you know what I'm about to say. Vector search is a new ball game and here is how it works. We use a model that we call embedding model and process all of the sentences in our database, all of the documents, to map them to a specific location such as every sentence that have the same meaning is located close to each other and sentences that are just different are far, far away. These mappings are just vectors of numbers that we stored in the database. And now if we try to search for the word car, the database will return every single sentence because all of them talk about car. This is pure magic, but if you think that's impressive, wait until I tell you that now I can store pictures of cars. I took this Polaroid in my database and have them come back whenever I search for the word car because vector search will interpret these pictures by their meaning and their cars. That's impressive. Now vector databases are not new. I've used a bunch of them over the last couple of years, but they all have something in common and that is complexity. If you wanted vector search capabilities, you had to add yet another component to your architecture, a vector database. You had to trust them with your data. You had to maintain your original data plus the vectors at different locations, deal with security, maintain all of that information, synchronize every single problem, multiply by two. Big headache, complexity is not good, but fortunately it doesn't have to be like that. The time of needing is separate, specialized vector database is now long gone. I'm working with MongoDB, which is funny because for years I've paid them so much money using their services. They're great. And now they're returning the favor and sponsoring my video here. MongoDB supports vector search natively. That means you can simplify your complex application with MongoDB. That's it. You can have your regular data stored alongside vectors. You can do full text search or vector search. You can also search over text, images, audio, whatever you want without having to send your data to yet another application. I'm gonna leave a link below to a GitHub repository where you'll find several examples of AI first functionality you can build using MongoDB from rack pipelines all the way to AI agents that use Mongo to implement their memory layer. Now, honestly, it's a little bit unfair to call MongoDB a database system anymore. They're more like a complete development platform. You can do a ton of stuff with them. Anyway, check the link below, keep your application simple, build more software, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.